Why do we wait so long at level crossings? We wait at level crossings for a minimum safety duration calculated for the fastest possible train and longest stopping distance to ensure the crossing is clear and safe for road users. Delays are extended when trains travel in quick succession, such as frequent passenger or heavy freight trains, which can cause prolonged closures and congestion, especially at manual crossings where a signal operator may choose not to open the barriers between trains to avoid slowing down the overall rail network. Level crossings are designed with the worst case scenario in mind to ensure absolute safety for road users and railway staff regardless of the actual train speed or arrival time. A train needs a considerable distance to stop especially at high speeds or with heavy loads. Barriers must be lowered long enough before the train arrives to provide adequate warning and safety time. To prevent trains from having to slow down and then accelerate again, barriers are lowered early to give signals at a safe distance time to change to green, allowing the train to maintain its speed. If a train has just passed, another train may be approaching from the opposite direction, requiring the barriers to remain down for the duration it takes for the second train to pass. Freight trains are typically heavier and longer and require longer stopping and acceleration distances which results in longer closure times compared to passenger trains. Arising both road and rail traffic leads to more frequent and extended level crossing closures increasing waiting time. At manually operated crossings a signal operator may choose to leave the barriers down between trains for operational reasons such as avoiding train delays on the main line rather than opening them for a short period. So how to reduce delays? Some crossings are trialling speed detection techniques that differentiate between trains that stop at nearby stations and those that pass through. This allows for shorter warning times when trains are not stopping. Improve signalling. Modernisation of signalling systems can improve efficiency, but unfortunately some recent upgrades have been reported to cause increased delays. And lastly, where possible, drivers can just do the obvious and use an alternative route if there is one available. I hope you have enjoyed this short little video. If you have, remember to give it a like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss another video. Till the next video, take care of yourselves folks and TTFM.